In the first years of what was then called Georgia Normal and Industrial College, students wore uniforms. According to the 1910 yearbook, the earliest uniforms consisted of an ankle-length brown skirt and a white long sleeve shirt with a little brown tie. In the 1910s, there were a few uniform variations. These consisted of brown jackets to go over white shirts and white rather than brown skirts. Longer neckties were also an option. By the mid-1920s, the skirts shortened to calf length, but black tights were required with the shorter skirts. Guy Wells was president in the 30s, and one of his goals was to promote independence among students. Under his presidency in 1934, school uniforms became optional for the first time. While students did not necessarily wear uniforms anymore, their individual style was still considered conservative by today's standards. Many still wore long skirts and long sleeves. Since then, students have continued to express their individuality through their dress. In one of the last publications of the Spectrum Yearbook in 1988, we can see that the style had changed drastically since 1934. And looking back to the 80s, we can see how different things were compared with today. That's your Georgia College History Minute. I'm Sarah Ziegler.